Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are first time here, my name is Sergey. I'm a freediving instructor trainer and on this channel I'm sharing with all of you guys everything what I know about freediving. So again, if you are new here, subscribe to this channel because you're going to find a lot of useful information which is going to help you to become a better and safer freediver. And today I want to talk about uh, dynamic no fins which is uh, one of the most technically complicated discipline in freediving. Okay, maybe more complicated constant no fins, but if we are talking, let's say, in a pool, probably dynamic no fins is the most complicated discipline. So I did a video, a few videos before about dynamic no fins. You can find the links to these videos in the description and also I'm going to put something on the top of the screen what we have in dynamic no fins. So you can divide dynamic no fins in four phases. So step number one, you pushing from the wall underwater and then you gliding forward. Step number two, you do the arm stroke. Step number three, you do a kick and then you repeat arm stroke, kick, arm stroke, kick until you reach the wall. And then when you reach the wall, you do a turn and after the turn, again push from the wall and then you repeat it, repeat it, repeat it until you've done your personal best or whatever distance you was planning to do on this specific training. And when we have a such complicated skills which involve a lot of different movement from a lot of different parts of your body, then it makes sense sometimes to train uh, not the whole skill, which is dynamic no fins, but divide this skill into the smaller sub skills and train them separately. So you can train separately pushing from the wall, you can train separately arm stroke, kick, turn and then push from the wall again. And this is what I want to talk today. So let's say skill number one, like sub skill number one is to push from the wall. And it's simple as it sounds. You do your big, you do your relaxation, you do your big breath in, you take horizontal position underwater and then you push uh, from the wall, keeping your arms in a streamlined position and then you glide as long as possible. You glide as far as possible. Again, if you're really streamlined, then you can glide quite far away. Uh, and if not, if you're, let's say, coming up to the surface or you're falling back to the bottom, you know what to do, you need to readjust your buoyancy. Okay, so this was skill number one. How long are you going to practice it? Maybe, I don't know, maybe around 5 to 10 minutes. So 5 to 10 minutes, this is what you do. You come to the wall, a little relaxation breathing, big breath in, push from the wall, glide. Come back to the wall, push from the wall, glide. And then do it just over and over and over. Uh, try to get as perfectly as possible this part of the dive. Step number two is the practicing how to turn. And there is a couple of variations how to do it. If you push, like if you pull not that wide, then you can do the same what let's say I do in our pool because our pool is like roughly about eight meters or maybe even a little less, I don't actually remember. And then what I do, I push from one wall, I do the turn, I push to another direction, I do a turn, I push another direction. So basically I do kind of long distance, but this long distance is not, uh, this long distance doesn't include any arm stroke or kick, it only includes turning and pushing, turning and pushing, turning and pushing. If your pool is much wider or at this moment of your uh, freediving career you, can, you couldn't cross the whole pool or maybe the another lines are busy, so different reasons and you can stick to one line, then what you can do, you can maybe go away a little bit from the wall, maybe, I don't know, like two, three meters away and then you start your dive, you do maybe a couple of kicks and then when you're reaching the wall, you turn, 
you push from the wall. Again, you come up, a little recovery, a little relaxation, start again. So do maybe one or two kick, reach the wall, push from the wall, glide. And then again, you do it over and over, maybe for the 10 minutes. Okay, the next drill, you can do, let's say, arm stroke only. And again, it's as simple as it sounds again. So what you need to do, you start your dive, you do your little bit relaxation, big breath in, push from the wall, glide. But now you're gonna only do the arm stroke to push yourself forward. So you do the arm stroke, you glide in this position. You do recovery, you bring your arms again in a streamlined position, do the arm stroke again, glide a little bit. So bring it forward, arm stroke, and then you do it until you reach the wall or until you feel that you arch the breath is too strong. So it's for different levels, obviously. And if your pull is not that long or if your dynamic uh, no fins is quite good enough, then you can uh, reach the wall, you can turn, and then you can uh, do the swimming arm, stro arm stroke only in this direction as well. And then the last skill is the kicking. So again, do your relaxation breathing, big breath in, take horizontal position, push from the wall, glide a little bit, and then start do kicks. So you kick and you glide, you kick and you glide, you kick and you glide, And then again you do the whole distance, maybe double distance if you're good enough or maybe half distance if it is already too much uh, CO2 in your body to handle. If you have already arch to breathe, strong arch to breathe, you can interrupt at any moment. Okay, so this is an idea how you can uh, split dynamic no fins into the small sub skills and practice these sub skills separately. So pushing from the wall, uh, turning using the wall and then separately arm stroke and separately kicks. So how often you want to practice such uh, skills? There is a two basic approach. You can, uh, you can spend the entire session for these drills. So for example, your whole, let's say one hour session, you're gonna do maybe 10, 15 minutes pushing from the wall, 10, 15 minutes turning, 10-15 minutes uh, doing only arm stroke and 10-15 minutes doing the kick only. And then I do recommend at the end of this session maybe do like one or two times a little bit longer distance like with a full set, right? So they're combining all parts of dynamic no fins. And then another option it is if you have a, let's say main training session again maybe it's going to be dynamic I don't know by fins and then you do only maybe 10-15 minutes and then you practice these drills only for 10-15 minutes at the beginning. So why at the beginning? Some free divers and even some coaches in different sports like to practicing uh, different technical aspects in the beginning and some do it at the end. So there is a debate what is better. I prefer to do like a technical aspects in the beginning because uh, if I want to uh, have a, like a good uh, control over my coordination, over my movements, then I want to be fresh. So I don't want to do, let's say, one hour session and then when I already tire it, when my system, my body system is already toxic and then I'm going to practice some technical drills, I probably not going to be uh, keeping that much attention on the technical aspects. So, but again, this is not uh, like not really solid point because some coaches in free diving or different sports they prefer to do it at the end. So up to you. You can do 10-15 minutes in the beginning and then your main session or you can do main session and then 10-15 minutes uh, of such drills. Okay guys, hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was useful, don't forget to click the like button. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time.